What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at cart messages for our e-commerce app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at cart messages. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, very quickly in this video, I want to talk about cart messages. So as we've got this set up now, if we go to any particular item and we add it to the cart, click add to cart, you could see, well, we've already added this one. So let's go back to this one. And if we add this to the cart, you can see it updates here, but it doesn't really do anything else. We kind of want a little message that pops up and says, hey, it added it to the cart, right? Likewise, if we come over here and let's say we delete one of these things, it deletes it from here and it deletes it from the page and it updates the total, but it's still kind of satisfying to get a little message popping up or something that says it did the thing. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor and the get bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django e-commerce series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's come over here to our store views.py and let's look through here down here at the bottom. We've got in our login and log out section, we've got this message thing. And these are just Django messages and you call them just by calling message dot whatever, say success, and you pass your request and then the little message. So I'm just going to copy one of these guys. And we added this stuff way back at the beginning of this series. And we did it by up here importing messages. So make sure you've got this imported. So from Django dot contrib, we want to import messages. So as long as we've got that, at least in this view and in our other view, we're good to go. So let's go over to, uh, to, in fact, let's make sure we do have that. Let's go to our cart section here and look in that views.py file. And oh, no, we don't have it there. So let's come back over here and grab this guy because we're probably going to need it over here as well. And I'll just pop that in from django.contrib import messages. Go ahead and save that. And let's head back over here and grab that message again. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Well, let's start with any of these product pages. So if we click on this page, here we are. So, okay, let's add our message here to this product page. So let's head back over here and let's look at our product.html page. And that's in our store templates. And if we come down here to the JSON at the bottom, this is what takes care of all the things whenever we click a button, right? So what's happening here is it's calling this cart underscore add URL. That's the view we want to play with. So let's go back to our original views.py. Again, make sure we copy a success message. And then let's head over to our cart views.py file. And here we have the cart add function. Down here, this is where it's returning the JSON response. So right there, let's add our little success message. So messages.success, we pass in our request here. And then let's just add a little message. And what do we want this to say? Let's say product added to cart. Dot, dot, dot. When we go back to our product page in the JSON, this is where the little uh, success function gets called after we've clicked a button. And we're not really doing anything there. So let's go to our templates cart summary and look at that Ajax. And there we've got this little reload function that just kind of reloads the page. Let's grab that just to make sure this all gets reloaded. And then our little message should pop up. So, all right, let's give this a try. Let's head back over here. Let's remove this and let's head back over here and add to cart and boom, product added to cart. And there we go. So super easy. Now we can click this little button and it bop and it disappears. Now we come back over here. We probably want the same thing here because we can update, you know, I could say update to two things and okay, it's updated, but you know, again, it's much more satisfying to have a little message pop up. So this is the cart summary page. So let's go to our cart summary page, look at the Ajax here, and it's calling cart underscore update. So let's head over to reviews.py file and let's find our cart underscore update. And here it is. And when we return a response, oops, first, let's grab this success message and come down here. So this is update. We could say your cart has been updated, dot, dot, dot. Now we also have this cart delete function. And if we look at our cart summary page 
and we scroll down a bit, we're also calling that whenever we click the delete button. So we might as well update that one as well. So here above the response again, paste in the message and let's say item deleted from shopping cart. Okay, so that looks good. Let's head back over here and hit reload. And let's go ahead and change this from two to four and click update. Boom, your cart has been updated. Okay, that looks good. Now, if we wanna remove it completely, we can click remove. Boom, your item deleted from shopping cart. There's nothing in there and that looks good. So we could test this all out again, just to make sure. Let's add three of these. Yes, product added to cart. Uh, let's come down here and add uh, maybe one of these. Hey, hey, product added to cart. Let's go to our cart and maybe we want two of these update. Hey, your cart has been updated. Now, what if I don't click this, but then come down here and click remove. It removes it automatically and the new message pops up. Item deleted from shopping cart and we're good to go. It's just a little thing. You don't have to do this, but you know, it just feels good to have a little message pop up. It just feels like there should be something happening, right? Because when we click a button, uh, you know, did it work? Did it not work? Well, we don't really know. I mean, we could see this thing. When I click remove, this thing goes to zero. But if you're not paying super close attention, you might not notice that. It's just good to have messages. And it's super easy with Django messages. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. Let's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.